Hello and welcome to yet another exciting video. In this video, I'll be reviewing the recent collaboration between Jound and A6 on the Jalkiano 14. This collaboration between Jound and A6 produced two amazing colorways of the said shoe. There's the white black, which is personally my favorite, and the white white. I was really lucky to have been able to pick up both of these shoes considering that these are my first Jound sneakers. After so many L's, I managed to win on this drop. I have also briefly spoken about these shoes on my summer sneaker pickups video, so if you haven't checked that out already, feel free to check it out. Before I dabble on the shoes itself, I thought I'd share how I prepared for this drop. In previous Jound drops, what I noticed is that there was a questionnaire or question that is always related to the shoe or the brand of the shoe that Jound is collaborating with or even Jound itself. It was more likely the history of the shoe or the brand, such as when it was originally dropped or when it was originally made. And using this knowledge, I did search the history of a6 and the Jalkiano 14 and boy was I right. I believe if memory serves correctly, the question on the white white pair was which city from Japan was A6 founded from and the white black pair was when was Jound founded. I searched for these questions prior to the drop and everything else was history. So ladies and gentlemen, that's how you can get a dub from Jound. I also think Jound adding this question or element when buying is fair game to everyone and lessens the chances if not preventing altogether bots winning the pairs. So kudos to Jound. Brief history on the Jalkiano 14s is that it was launched back in 2008 originally as the 14th model of the long-running Jalkiano series. What made this model particularly unique is that it was designed by another designer other than the original designer Toshikazu Kayano. Notable features of this silhouette is its technical running design revamped with metallic silver overlays, bright white mesh, and gel technology infused sole which by the way is so comfortable. I will get into that later. The shoes came in an all-white box with the A6 Jound logo stamped on top and front medial side of the box. The sizing and label is on the left side of the box and above it is the ortholite sticker. I like the simplicity of the box adding to the overall minimal aesthetic of the shoe. The shoes came with cream laces with an extra pair of white laces. The shoes also came with the A6 and ortholite tags and white wrapping paper. Both shoes are made up of white inline mesh with metallic silver overlays. The only difference is the black pair is debossed with black accents and the white pair is debossed with white accents. Both have reflective detailing on the upper with a white and black 2D printed jound branding on the right lateral quarter respectively. The black pair has this really nice cream off-white midsole paired with the same off-white bubbles and finished with a black rubber outsole. The white pair on the other hand has a white midsole with white bubbles and is finished with an off-white rubber outsole. Both shoes have a metallic silver trustic support system and are equipped with gel technology cushioning. Also both shoes came with logo branded sock liner. Overall, the shoes feel really premium in the hands. The off-white accents, especially on the white-black pair, look incredible. It definitely looks very minimalistic but very aesthetically pleasing. Comfort-wise, this is hands down the most comfortable running shoe I've ever worn. This is also my first pair of A6, so I cannot say the same is true for regular gel Kayano 14s, but I am pretty sure that it is since the same gel technology is used. The gel cushioning really feels amazing on feet. It's pretty hard to explain unless you really felt it for yourself, but comparing it to my other Arthlite insole equipped shoes such as the New Balance 919 V5 and Salomon XT6, the gel Kano 14 is far superior. Not to mention the shoe seems to mold perfectly on my feet, hugging it securely in place. Sizing wise, I got mine in a size 7.5 which is my true to size, although I should mention that I have narrow feet. I also like mine snug hence the reason why I got a 7.5 but I can also fit a size 8 on other shoes. Pricing wise, the collaboration retails at 180 US dollars which I believe is the same pricing as the regular gel can of 14s. It is pretty pricey for a running shoe but in my opinion you are getting what your money's worth with the overall build and comfort of the shoe provides. Not to mention the amazing looks as well. Alternatively here are other shoes that I would personally get that resemble the look of the John A6 gel can of 14. 
Also, other regular colorways of the Gelcano 14 are just as good, in my opinion. Although you may not be able to get the same color blocking as the Jound, but it is pretty close, to be honest. It all comes down to the John branding at the back of the shoe and the John branded sock liner. Here are some outfits I put together to show how the shoes look on feet. I am definitely happy that I was able to cop not one but both pairs of the Jound A6 Gel Cano 14. I knew for a fact that there will definitely be a lot of interest in the said shoes as it always is when John releases collaboration sneakers. And as I mentioned earlier, preparing is key. So for any future John releases, I will do the same technique. I mean, it is not guaranteed, but it helps us it prove to work since I was able to get both sneakers on the recent drop. Also, you might be wondering why I did not wear the white pair. That's because I'm still not sure if I will be keeping or selling it. But what I know is that the white pair is really growing on me as the day goes by as I see more and more people styling it so we shall see anyway i hope you guys did enjoy this video as much as i did and until next time stay safe stay fitted peace